with those feet. Does that mean? Yeah, he's gonna be a big one. Wow. What do you say? Thank you. You just Thanks, take good care Sam. of him. Bring him back in a couple of weeks for vaccinations, okay? Hi, Lydia. Hi. Bye now. Bye bye. Thanks. Which one did she take? The floppy-eared one. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Almost finished. Okay. There we go. Wanna go see the Taj Mahal? I'll go anywhere with you, baby. Oh, you picked my favorite one. If I might be so bold, I called him Bentley. <laughs> Get out of there. All right, all right. How am I supposed to know when my next appointment is? Oh, it's in a half an hour. But it's Elmer. If he's on time, I'll do cartwheels. I kind of like to see that. Oh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> I thought they'd be further along. We've had a lot of rain. Hey, Sam. Lady. Hi. What's up? Came to take a look. What do you think? Nice hole. Well, we've had a lot of rain. That's what I said. Can't dig in the rain. <laughs> you guys in a hurry? You want to? Fill this house up with some babies? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Someday. Yeah. We we'll get some good weather, we'll be fine. Sure. sheep and then a checkup on Joe's pregnant cow. Okay. Call me when you're headed home. Bye. Hi, Sam. Hey. How's your dog doing, Brad? He's looking good, Doc. Dermatitis is practically all gone. Yeah, but he's got a rash of his own. Show him. Mm. Yep. He wants to use the dog medicine. I wouldn't do that. I told him that. Why, well, want to wake? Not unless you want to wake up one morning barking like a dog. Well, that'd be an improvement. <laughs> Wouldn't it? See ya. Bye. Bye. Lacerated his paw. Did you find it? No. Where is it? Tiny hairline fracture right above the joint. Hmm. You don't need reading glasses, do you? No. I'm just wondering. Hi. Hey. hey. What's up? I'm just passing by. Thought I'd stop in. Busy? Yeah. Don't mean to interrupt. I saw her. How come you didn't tell me? I was on a call. I saw her too down at the gas station. Hi, Ross. Need some help? Uh, Elmer just showed up, and I've got the Campbell dog. Elmer's appointment uh, was yesterday. And that's Elmer. All right, you take him, would you? I'll take the Campbell dog. What brings you here? Oh, he needs a distemper shot. She asked about you. I'll catch up with her.
Look what I found. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? Drum set, doofus. Who's are they? Belong to an old friend of mine. What was his name? Ben. He asked me to keep him for him because he didn't have room. Can I play him? Can I play him really loud? Yeah. Just do me a favor and wait till I get downstairs. What do you think? A what? The movie. Oh, I liked it. You did not. Why do you say that? You kept looking at your watch. I guess I did, didn't I? Sam, where are you? I'm right here. Oh, that ought to do it, Walter. Just give it a week or so. I can't pay you till next week, Sam. Don't look at me. We know where you live. Oh, thanks. You're 3.30, cancel. Well, I guess we'll run out to Joe's, check on that cow. Weren't you just there yesterday? Yeah. She's very close. You're acting like an expectant father. Are you going to hand out cigars? Hi. Your mom around? No. She went to the store. My name's Sam. I'm an old friend of your mother's. I used to live next door. This is my house right here. That was my room right there. So you're quite the basketball player. Yeah. How about that. Well, I'll just I'll come around another time. Okay, Joe, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, okay, oh, okay. Where's Sam? Oh, I, I don't know. He said he was gonna go check on Joe Lieber's cow. Maybe she's already had her calf. Well, she did. But Sam wasn't there. Hmm. Where'd you go? Well, I had to go check on Joe's cow. Joe called. The cow had her calf. He said you weren't there. Uh, I didn't make it, so. How come? Is Sam, but, oh, Sam, someone wants to see you. Right. I think we've solved the mystery. Oh, that dog's cute. Hi, Sam. I kind of expected a bigger hello. I'm surprised to see you. Trooper, is this the guy I stopped by? Mm-hmm. I heard that you were in town. I'm just surprised. 
So you already met my son, Trooper? No, no, not officially. I'm Sam. Hi. Dude, what do you do when someone offers you their hand? What else? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I told Troop that you were a veterinarian and he wanted to come by right away because he loves animals. Is that right? Well, I might know a puppy who needs a home. I don't suppose you'd be interested? Please, Mom. Mm, well, you have to take care of him. <clears throat> I will. Come on. All right. All right, I'll lay right here. Do you even know how to take care of a dog? What are you gonna do? Made a deal. A gummy bear. You want another? Okay. I'm Rosemary. Trooper. Ah. Oh. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, it's up to you. Thanks, Sam, I think. Just be good to him. Bring him back here whenever he needs anything. It'll be on the house. I'll take good care of him. Hey. Oh, 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 girl. Hi, yeah. Alice. Go ahead and take her on back to number two. I'll be there in a minute. Yeah. Alice? It's me, Dee Dee. Dee Dee Michelle? Yeah, and this is my son, Trooper. Well, hello, Trooper. Why, my goodness, I haven't seen you since... Yeah, about 13 years. Are you just visiting? No, I'm here to stay. Well, good for you. Sam, I, I can see that you're busy. We'll catch up later. Okay. Okay. Trooper! Thanks for the puppy. You're welcome. Bye, Rosemary. Bye. Give him a good home. I will. Why didn't you just tell me the truth at the office? I didn't want Rosemary gossiping. About what? About Dee Dee. What about Dee Dee? Oh, just nothing. You were worried she'd gossip about nothing? We were friends. We grew up together. I mean, I've known the girl since I was three years old. She and Ross and I hung out. I mean, she was fun. Fun? We were just friends, okay? People gossip about friends here. It's a small town, lady. I mean, what do you know about small towns? You grew up in Boston. Oh, I don't know, Sam. Why don't you tell me what it's like to grow up in a small town? Tell me about your friend. What do you mean? I don't know. What's she like? She was a free spirit, okay? Everybody in town knew her. Me, I was this shy little kid afraid of his own shadow. Once there was this kid who was sort of the neighborhood bully. He stole my baseball cards. Now, I pretended that it didn't matter, but it mattered to Dee Dee. She found him. She beat him up, and she got him all back for me. Oh, that was nice of her. You know what, she didn't even care about what people thought about her. In the ninth grade, she gets caught smoking in the school bathroom. The principal takes her into his office. Before he can even get a word in, she offers him a cigarette. Mm-hmm. Anyway, on graduation day, she ran off with Bobby Langford. Can you pass me the olive oil? Is she the one you were going to give your class ring to? Who told you that? Ross. A long time ago. Yeah, she was the one. Ask me the pepper. Not until you tell me. Nothing to tell. Try me. I was planning on giving her my class ring the night before graduation. 
We were standing out on our porch, and I, I had it out. I had it in my hand, and I'm about to give it to her. But before I could say anything, she pops out with the news that she's going. Next day, gone. You never heard from her? A couple of postcards. One from some small town in Kansas, home of the world's biggest ball of twine. Ain't life a hoot, that's what it said. Nothing more. How come you never mentioned her? I didn't think it was that important. It's just that she was your first crush. I mean, if my first boyfriend came into town... Look, I... I got over it. I married this woman that I am absolutely crazy about. Really? What's she like? Ah, uh, you'd have to know her. Is she pretty? Pretty? No. <laughs> Movie star beautiful. Smart as a whip. Let's see. Terrific veterinarian. Did I mention that? Loved by people and pets alike. I think we should ask them to dinner. Really? Gotta know the competition. Trooper, uh, Lydia. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. It's Trooper. Hi, Trooper. Hi. Hi. It is really nice to meet you. Well, come on inside. This is for you. Oh, thank you. Should I open it now? Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like them. I made them. They're beautiful. <laughs> we can use them tonight at dinner. Mm -hmm. I I'm still working in the kitchen. Oh, good. Let me help you. What are you making? Uh, nothing fancy. Some roast chicken, mashed potatoes, carrots. Uh, nut? Okay. Oh, I love candlelight dinners. Mm, me too. Maybe you'll be a customer. A customer? I'm gonna open up a candle shop. Here? Is that a bad idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> but... He's such a terrible liar. <laughs> He's learning. Well, I just... Wonder if it's uh, if the town is large enough for a, a candle store. Yeah, I thought of that, but I figure if I offer candle making lessons, you know, what do you think, Lydia? Oh, I, I think you'll just have to try it and see. W would you be interested? Me? I don't have that much free time. So, how did you get interested in candle making? Well, it started as a hobby, but. Then I had to make a living. And uh, I guess I just love what candles symbolize. Which is what? Home. I guess hopes and dreams and wishes. People light candles in church. They use them for prayer. Dude, you can't just eat before everybody starts. No, it's OK. It's OK. Dig in. <clears throat> so, Trooper, how'd you get the nickname Trooper? It's not a nickname. It's my real name. Uh, we've traveled around so much. We're like a small theater troupe. So you spell it with a U? Hmm? T-R-O-U-P-E-R. -E no. T-R-O-O-P-E-R. -E I gave him the name, so I figure he can spell it however he wants. <sighs> well, not really. Oh, yeah, that's right, because last year you wanted to spell it with three O's. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> 
troop. Weren't you gonna ask Sam something? Oh, yeah. Uh, do you have lots of animals downstairs? We sure do. Can I see him? Uh, Sam, why don't you take Trooper down and show him our zoo? Good. All right, come on, Troop. Can I call you Troop? If you want to. Everybody calls me Sam. He's a nice boy. Yeah. He reminds me of Sam. <clears throat> Shy at first, but there's a lot going on underneath. I understand you're living in your childhood home. Yeah, lots of memories there. <laughs> What brings you back after all this time? My mom died and the house was just sitting there. But mostly for a Trooper, I keep boring him with all my stories of how great it was to grow up here. How did you and Sam meet? Oh, at Cornell, in vet school. He always wanted to be a vet. I guess you knew him pretty well. Yeah, hard not to, he lived next door. We spent every day together, especially in the summertime. So you moved back here after vet school? I was a city girl pining for country life. Slower pace, nicer people. You must have a lot of friends here. Yeah, I, I guess I do. But you married my best one. Blood and stuff? Sometimes. How's that puppy doing, by the way? Hmm. He's fine. What do you call him? Chewbacca. Nice name. How'd you come up with that? <laughs> he tried to eat my shoelaces. <laughs> Are all these yours? No. They all belong to other people. Except this little guy. Actually. This is Chewbacca's brother. Want to see him? Sure. Do you get to play with him? It's kind of hard to find the time. <laughs> Thank you. Dinner was so good. You're welcome. Want me to walk you guys home? Ah, you're the way. Don't bother. Go ahead, Sam. I'll be right back. Got it? Yep. Enjoy. Remember that bike I bought with berry picking money? When you sold the Jimmy Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had it back. I'd give it to Troop. That's all the one has. Nothing. Just pure nostalgia. Can... Nostalgia. Coming from the woman who could not wait to get out of here. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Yes, it's true. You never appreciate what you have until it's gone. Hey, Trooper, this is CJ's, that place I told you about. Same old place, same old geezers. Except now I'm one of them. <laughs> Where's his dad? Troop never knew his dad. He was less than a year old when Bobby left. Bobby? Yeah. Huh. Huh, where'd he go? Alaska. He never really wanted kids. I can't say that I'm surprised. Sam, is that a polite way of saying I told you so? How about you and Lydia? Any plans for kids in the future? Kids? Yeah. Someday. Just I'm sure. Sure about what? We're financially secure. They're ready, time to devote to your family. You haven't changed a bit, Sam. I guess not. I wish I were more like you. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear you say that. Oh, shut up. I have learned something in the last 13 years. Last few nights, I can't sleep. I wake up, I go to my window and look out at your window. 
It used to make me so comfortable just knowing you were there. I'm so sorry, Sam. I'm sorry I fell off the map. Bobby and I got married right away. Trooper came a year later. I'm not making excuses, but I do really apologize. No name. It's kind of hard for Troop, you know, moving again to a new place. Just got to make new friends. He seems like a great kid. Mm -hmm. You know, in the meantime, I could use some help around the clinic. Someone to feed and look after the animals. He would love that. Good. Thank you, Sam. I, I, I have to make trips back and forth to Boston. I didn't. This is perfect. What are you doing in Boston? Oh, I, I have to pick up supplies. Um, Lydia seems great. Yeah, she is great. I guess I got lucky. <laughs> I offered to let Trooper help at the clinic. I hope you don't mind. No, it's fine. It'll be good for him. Good practice for you. You OK about tonight? Yeah, it wasn't as awkward as I'd imagined. She seems nice enough. She's our so. Check the brand of the food with the amount on the card, and then you feed them out of the right one. Which one is it? This one. When you're working with a puppy, sometimes they can be tentative. You want to try to coax them into a behavior with a reward, a treat, like this. So we want to have them come down the stairs. But keep your hand here so they don't fall. Come on, sweetness. Can I play with them after I feed them? Oh, I'd say that's a big part of the job. Really? Mm-hmm. Gotta feed them first. Wait, no, and no. Reach right out. They're not gonna come out. There you go. Yeah, okay, there you go. Do you wanna give him a treat? Yeah. Okay. Reward him. Here you go. Good job. What's the dog's name? Jesse. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> hey, girl. Perfect, except he's a boy. Oh, sorry, Jesse. Oh, good. Oh, I think he loves me. Oh, he likes me. He does. Oh. <laughs> now, don't be nervous, Naomi. Hmm. Just the entire fate of the game. This isn't over. Better luck next time, sweetheart. Excuse me. Go. It's your turn. <laughs> we'll get him next time. Sorry about that. How's the house coming? It's just a hole. At the moment. Rick's as slow as molasses. It took him a year to do my uncle Ned's place. He's careful, and Ned has a great house. Oh, and Sam likes careful. Boy, does he ever. Yeah, well, you don't push him, it'll be your retirement home. <laughs> yeah. Push who, Sam or Rick? Rick. Oh. Come to think of it, Sam, too. You better push them both, Liddy. <laughs> What's the hurry? Funny you should ask. Hey, CJ, you got anything to read while we're waiting? Sleeping through that, were you? Sorry, I missed it. Were you sleeping, were you? <laughs> Mom. What? What are these? What? These. Oh. Where'd you find them? Mm -hmm. In the drawer in the kitchen. That's Sam. <laughs> That's Sam? <laughs> He's so serious. Mm -hmm. He's kind of chubby. <laughs> Who's this? Dad. Can I 
keep it? Sure. Here, put these back. So, this is 154 degrees in here. What? Yeah, but don't worry, you can stick your finger in here and it kind of feels good. <laughs> okay. You won't get hurt. Um, okay, the key to making candles is you can't hurry, you have to have patience. Uh -huh. When I use that word with my son, he rolls his eyes. <laughs> but I guess that's payback for all the times I did that to my mom. Okay, <laughs> okay so each of us needs to take a look. Oh, thank you. Um, you want to hold it in the middle and uh, just keep it apart so that it doesn't get stuck together. Right. Dipping candles are made a pair at a time. Okay. And dip the wick into the heated wax. How long do you leave it in? Okay. Uh, just trust your gut. It's kind of like cooking without a recipe. A recipe? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to put it in for like, I don't know, three seconds and then keep it out for about three seconds. And then we're going to cool them off for about three minutes. Uh -huh. I know that they look kind of skinny. <laughs> skinny? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> so we said, go ahead, I buy it. And buy the horses. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Hi. Hello. Hey. I was just passing by. I thought I'd. Oh, come on in. I'm so glad that you came. Oh, oh come on, Lydia. This is fun. Mm -hmm. I'm just not so crafty. <laughs> so, when I sell my candles, I like to put a little message in each box. Um, if you're going to be using them as gifts, you might want to do the same. Well, like what? I think candles help us explore the darkness. You know? People used to sit around campfires, keep the predators away. <laughs> I think firelight makes us feel safe with good friends. You know? I do. I mean, can you imagine? There were like half a dozen of us, all women, gathered, learning how to make these candles. But it was kind of magical. Sitting there in that room, I really did feel a sense of something. Fire hazard, probably. <laughs> I'm serious. Alright, what did you feel? You know, for as long as I've been in this town, I've never felt a sense of that so strongly as I did tonight. What? A sense of community. You know, I really do like her. Much more than I thought I would. Good. Tell you the truth, I was a little jealous of her. <laughs> no kidding. You knew? Oh, please. <laughs> I just can't seem to get him to take his pills. Oh, well, you just hold him like this, open his jaw, take the pill, and put it back like that. Liddy, Friedmare's having trouble falling. I'm gonna take the trooper along. Are you up to it? We'll find out. Your call, but if he faints or heaves... Sorry, we have a young helper. Hello, Doc. Hey, John. This is my new helper, Mitt Trooper. Hey. Full hasn't dropped into the birth canal. She could start to lose blood supply soon. 
All right, hand me my kit. Right here. the jugular groove. It's easy to find. You just trace from the jaw angle down the neck. I like to go in towards the north. If I press here, see that? It increases the blood pressure in the vein. That'll take effect in a few minutes. Be less dangerous for her. And for us. in a good position. Mm. Have both four legs extended forward, one a little less so than the other, with the chin resting on the knees. Now, if the neck, if it was flexed to either side, the foal could get his head caught on the way out, which would be trouble. Mm. But this one looks fine so far. The only worry is how long it's taken. See the tiny little hooves there? Bottoms downward towards the mother's feet. Better move things along here. Apply a little traction. All right, in my kit, this is a set of OB chains. They're shiny, narrow, stainless steel. Do me a favor and go get up, go. You sit down. Since the loop just above the uh, ankles, it's not gonna hurt when we pull. She pushes, we pull. Ready? Okay, stop. Okay. Right, wait for the contraction. This is the most difficult part. Pull. Good. Hard. Good hard. Thanks, John. Okay. He's not been nursing in an hour. You give me a call. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Hey, that's some little help in you. It sure is. Yeah. Good job. Thanks, so. Oh, thank you. Sure. See you, John. Take care, Doc. Trooper, right? Yeah. I'll see you. did a good job. I was a little scared. Nothing wrong with being scared. You hung in there. Come on. Sam? Yeah? Did you know my dad? Your dad? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know him really well. He was only in town for a year. What was he like? Well, let's see. He was a cool guy. I could say that. My mom says he was a dreamer. You could say that. He left us to go to Alaska. Dreamers have to follow their hearts. They sure do. Come on. Kid thinks he's some sort of romantic hero. I couldn't even believe what I was hearing. A dreamer? Come on, the guy was a low life who abandoned him. Maybe you were just a little jealous of him, Sam. 
Liddy, the guy spent half the year he was here working on his car, the other half dealing pot. How do you romanticize that? What if she's just protecting her son? By lying to him? If he were your son, what would you say? I don't know. I'll set it up so we can kind of take off the house. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. So I'll set it up. Oh, Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Oh, Johnson. 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 Johnson.
Can, can you give us a guess? Well, it's good. Not really. Well, by fall? Early fall or late fall? Any fall. It depends, really. Well, if we get in the winter and the house isn't finished, then... Yeah, that could happen. Wouldn't that hurt the house? Not really. Why? I'd just prefer it if it didn't fall down in a heap. Picky, picky. Last week, I'm not used to seeing so much of you. Thank my assistant for that. What's his name? I don't have one yet. <laughs> Got any ideas? Solitaire. Huh. Pretty good. How come you picked that one? He doesn't have anyone to play with. Well then, that's what we'll call him. Solitaire. <laughs> No, it's not, sweetheart. He should have been there. Honey, it's okay. Come on. Come on. No, fix no. him right up. Keep talking. Come on, Cody. Cody got hit by a car. Oh, my. Here, bring him on back. Sam! What does it look like? Crushed lumbar vertebrae. Spinal cord damage looks irreversible. Abdomen's full of fluid, probably a ruptured spleen. Maybe he'll take Amber outside while you talk to Val. Okay. Sam would like to speak with you. I'll take care of him. Hi. Hi. Yeah, you want to go over the x-rays? No, that's okay. Looks bad, Val. Is there anything we can do? Well, we could try to save him, but it'll be painful and I can't give you any guarantees. What would you do if he were yours, Sam? I think I'd let Cody go. Okay. Um, let me talk to Amber. Sure. I'll let her come and say goodbye. Just gonna let him die? Well, I'd do anything if I could save him. But he's been hurt pretty badly and he's in a lot of pain. I don't think we should let him suffer like that. He's upstairs. Can I speak with him? I want to explain something. To him. I already talked to him. He's pretty upset. Come on. It isn't just about the puppy, Sam. What is it? You know, I've been making trips back and forth to Boston. Mm-hmm. It's not just pick up supplies. I've been going to a hospital. What for? Cancer. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I'm dying, Sam. It's widespread. It's in my lymph nodes, bone marrow, liver. You must have had treatment. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. How much time? I was hoping to make it to Troop's 12th birthday, but it's moving too fast. Does he know? 
more or less. But he's hoping. I haven't told him the latest. Sorry. It's really why I came home. So you can die here? No, I want Trooper to live here. I need to find him a place, a family. I had this crazy idea. <laughs> I find built this place up in my mind, you know? It seems so magical to me. I thought all I had to do was come home. Clearly, I <laughs> learned a thing, because when I was 18, I thought everything outside of this town was magical, and I just had to leave. What about his dad? Come on, you never liked him. You were right. He got into drugs and dealing, and it only got worse as time went on. Well, after Troop was born, he took off for Alaska. Said he had to get work, you know. <laughs> he um, got busted and did two years. And when he got out, he uh, went right back to it. <laughs> got himself killed. And I never found out how. I chose so badly, Sam. Not just for myself, but for Troop. I'm so sorry. I know. I know you are. I need your help, Sam. I have no one else. Anything. I need you to help me find a place for Troop. Please. I just sat there with this stupid look on my face. I feel like such an idiot. But I didn't know what to say. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Look for somebody, I guess. But who? I thought of John Frieden. John Frieden? Yeah, he likes Trooper. He's got horses. You know. He's over 60 years old. 50 something, and Trooper would love being on a farm. What does he know about raising boys these days? They raised two kids. That was over 10 years ago. I mean, his kids are married, they have families of their own. Who do you think he's forgotten how? No, but raising kids these days is a lot different than it was then. Just a thought. Sam? Hmm? I was thinking last night. Yeah? So was I. About what? Going over the names of everyone I know. We could take him. No, we couldn't. Why not? It wouldn't work, Liddy. Where are we gonna put him? We're building a house. She doesn't think she's gonna make it that long. We have a spare room. We can fix it up. It's not a practical idea. Why not? Because we're not set up for it. We both work. Who's gonna look after him? You have to make plans for things like this. It takes time. Oh, come on, Sam. I don't think this decision is about being practical. Well, you've thought about this for one night, okay? It's a huge responsibility. We've thought about having kids for a long time. What about Val? I think Val's a good idea. Her husband's out of work. I don't think she can. Well, then there's the groupers. There's, there's lots of people. Why don't we just see how she does? Maybe she's wrong. She could live for another year. She could live for two years. In the meantime, I've got to go inoculate the Holden pigs, okay? We'll find somebody. Hi, Trooper. Hey. Is Sam here? Oh, he'll be back soon. Oh, good, good. Lydia. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I ran off like that. It wasn't very professional of me. Well, you know, I could use some professional help with this fellow. You want to hold him? Hold him by the collar. Okay. Give him some comfort. Sonny's having his operation, huh? Yep. 
Is he gonna be okay? He'll be great. That's good. I was worried. You ever think about having more kids? Beyond the two little hellions we're raising now, you mean? Yeah. Why do you ask? I was wondering. You been talking to Naomi? No. About what? Lydia been talking to Naomi? That I know of. Why? Naomi's pregnant. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're barely making it now on two teacher salaries. Yeah, it's not easy. You and Lydia thinking of uh... No, not yet. You still remember how? It'll come back to me. Sam, come on. What'd you ask me for? For Dee Dee. start to read our messages and we put in our gift boxes, right? Rosemary, do you want to go first? Oh, sure. It's always me. <laughs> oh, this is for my brother-in-law, Jack, who is a real chill. <laughs> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. But don't burn your rear or you will see exactly the pain you are to me. <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind, but it works. You don't know Jack. <laughs> don't get excited. Remember last week when the cat, like, went through an alarm and went all over the place? It happens all the time, constantly. Besides, it's raining outside. Doc, it's your new house. Oh, Come on, Dennis, I'll give you a ride. Sorry, Lydia. It's just the framing. It's not even a house yet. It's a dream. Maybe we can dream it again. I kept the generator going to run the pump. I was afraid it was gonna flood. There must have been an electrical short. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Rick. It was an accident. When can we start rebuilding? I have to clean this mess up. Labor Day's coming soon. I, I say we wait until spring. Once the bad weather starts, we're just gonna have to stop. What do you think, Sam? Sam, talk to me. I had Rick do the house because he was so meticulous. Every nail, every joint, every angle, just so. <laughs> I had him prepare the house for a hurricane. Did I tell you that? When was the last time there was a hurricane around here? I don't know. Hundred years. He was gonna trust the gables, reinforce the garage door, put a special adhesive on the shingles. You can't protect to get... against everything. Not everything. But everything you can think of. But you can't think of everything either. It was a freak accident. My mother was so afraid of hurricanes. 
I don't blame her. Oh, she was afraid of pretty much everything. Every time my dad would leave on a sales trip, he'd make sure we had everything we needed. Check the tires, check the house, the rain gutters, the shutters, that we have enough firewood, and on and on and on. And still, this woman, she was afraid. Of what? You name it. I used to hear her walking around the house late at night, making sure all the windows were locked. And every time I'd leave the house, my mother would ask me if I had enough money, where are you going? Are your socks warm enough? I used to think I could actually hear her worrying. It got to a point where I didn't even want to leave the house. It was easier just to stay at home. Come if it hadn't been for Dee Dee, I probably would have never left the yard. She sounds like she was a good friend to have. It was more than that. She was my friend, my sister, my... <laughs> Do you... Do you think I'd be a good father? Oh, Sam, yes. Yes, I do. Then let's take him. Are you sure? Upstairs playing with Chewbacca. We want to take him. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, when the time comes. We're still hoping it won't. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I couldn't have even hoped for this. Oh, Sam. I'm so proud of you. Oh, we're both crazy about it. That's great, but that's not why I'm proud of you. Okay, why are you proud of me? Because you married well. <laughs> I want to have a party. A big one. A party? <laughs> Might be my last chance. Hey, Trooper, can I come in? Sure. Did you have fun with Rosemary today? It was great. Want to snuggle?
Remember how we always said we'd hope for the best when I got sick? Yeah. Well, sometimes the best doesn't happen. And then we have to make other plans. We have to make the best of things as they are. So it looks like the best isn't going to happen. And if I'm not going to be around, if I'm not going to be around, we're going to have to find a place for your troop. I don't want to. I know, baby. But we got to make the best of things, don't we? Maybe, maybe my dad will come back. Oh, Troop. He, he could. It's been a very long time. But he still could, Mom. But in the meantime, we have to find a place for you where you'll be safe and happy. Where people love you. And will take care of you. You know Sam and Lydia? They love you very much. Do you know that? I know it. Do you know how I know it? Because they said that if anything happened to me, if I didn't get better, that they would love to have you live with them. How would you feel about that? I don't want to, Mom. I know, baby. But as long as we're talking about making the best of things, can you think of a place you'd rather be? Do you like them, Troop? I like them very much. In fact, I can't think of anyone I'd rather you be with. Can you? Can we still hope? Hope what? Then you'll get better? Come here. Yeah, still hope. I'm still gonna hold them. Me too. This is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is my special mm. macaroni. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, we present the return of Dee Dee and the Deadbeats. <laughs> Dee Dee, would you do us the great honor of leading us through our theme song? Oh, Sam. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, come on! But I wanted to watch you guys go. Oh. Now, what's the name of the song? You got a friend. Oh, I know that. I, I... Well, get up oh, here. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm doing this for you. We love you. Go get him. Yay for me. And we do have a special guest on the drums tonight, Mr. Trooper Michaud. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Trooper. What key do you guys play in? What key do you sing it in? Oh, it, it, it doesn't matter. That sounds fine. When you're down and troubled and you need a helping hand and nothing, nothing, nothing is going right. 
Come on, girls. Close your eyes and think of me. And soon I will be there to brighten up even the darkest night. You just call out my name and you know wherever I am, I'll come running to see you. Jimmy Farrington had it, but he'd sold it to Marty and Neil Halfman, and Neil thought Marty had it, Marty thought Neil had it. Both forgot that they gave it to their little sister, and it was in her basement collecting cobwebs. But it looks brand new. Not just a new seat and some fresh paint. Ah, oh, true. This is the bike I rode when I was your age. It, it's cool. Well, sort of. <laughs> Excuse me, it's the coolest bike ever. I'm taking it for a ride. Oh, okay. Let me help you. Go ahead. Okay, okay. I'll, I got it. I got it. All right. All right, now, don't go crazy all at once. You know. Shut up, you guys. We'll find out the place over here. I put it in first gear, so, okay. you know, Yeah, Ross, easy. I've ridden a bike before. Okay, well, this is just like that. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Sam, maybe she shouldn't. Yeah, you should know her by now. Cleanup coming. Oh, it's coming. I want to start the new construction. You mean now? Right away. As soon as you're finished with the cleanup. Well, if that makes sense, Sam. I mean, we'll be caught right in the middle of winter. Yeah, let's take a chance. We might have decent weather. What if we don't? We'll shut it down till spring. 
But then I'll be left with all this material just hanging around all winter. It's not gonna hurt it, is it? Well, I, I suppose not. What's the hurry? I'm gonna fill that house up with kids. Thanks, Rick. Is Liddy pregnant? No. Not yet. It takes nine months, you know. Not always. Amber's gonna take Chewbacca's brother. Oh, great, Amber. I'm glad. Are you gonna take him today? Uh-huh. Trooper, go bring him in. He'll need a shot. Okay. Are you gonna do it now? Yep. Right now. I'll come back. Oh, it'll take a minute. Okay. I hate shots. I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. Trooper, put him up here on the table. Oh, oh. Where's Amber? Oh, she didn't want to watch. Yeah, she's not used to this stuff. So I'll just pinch it, okay, puppy? Ouch. There we go. <laughs> you okay? You okay? It's fine. Here he is. There. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> Big. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. You want to feed him? Sure. Well, grab a hold of that bucket there. Here we go. Come on around here. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have to have somebody come out and ride him this spring so he don't get too frisky. I don't suppose you know anyone who'd be willing to do that. I'd ride him. If I knew how. You would? Yeah. If I knew how. Well, now, there you go. I would have thought that he would have done that, would you, Sam? Never even crossed my mind. Hmm. Well, he's awful busy, though. What with being an assistant veterinarian and all. Oh, yeah, he probably doesn't even have time. Not much. Hmm. Well, I'd have time. It's just, well, I don't really know how. Oh, yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Too bad. Well, of course, there's always Sophie. Yeah, lots of folks learn to ride on Sophie. Sophie's very gentle. Oh, it's very gentle. Sort of like sitting in an easy chair. Well, I'll keep looking. Hey, say, you know, I just got an idea. Now, if you wanted to come and learn on Sophie. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about that? I think we got a deal. Well, son of a gun, I wish I thought of that before. Well, you come on back any time and we'll get started. Okay. Ain't that something? Yeah, I'm gonna Never even thought about old Trooper.
It's the Labor Day picnic. Maybe. Maybe not. What's the big surprise, Sam? It wouldn't be a surprise if I told you. Now, would it? I didn't think that we could... We took a chance. We've been working overtime. I'll talk the guys into coming in over the holidays. Thanks, Rick. Okay. All right, you walk the flank. Oh, Rick. Thank you so much. The guys wanted to help. They're good guys. Here we have so <laughs> living room. Kitchen. Bedroom. Family room. I wanted you to see it. Thank you, Sam. Oh, in case it burns down again. Will this be mine? It'll be all yours. Do you want to put a bunk bed in here? Uh, a single? Whatever you want. I bet you'll be able to have a really nice view of some stars. Yeah. It's a pretty nice view. see about fixing us some supper. That'd be great. Aren't we gonna go to the town picnic? I don't feel up to it, Troop. I'm sorry. Maybe you and I can stop by later. That's a good idea. Go into the kitchen and help Lydia. There's some cold spaghetti in the fridge. Okay. Okay, go help her. <sighs> How much of this are you taking? It's never enough. You in a lot of pain? I can manage. Thank you for today, Sam. I owe you so much. Oh, I don't know about that. I'd say we're pretty even. And I don't just mean when we were kids. I mean now as well. You keep showing me how to live my life. You're doing just fine without me. Different without you. You know, I. I never told you this. But that night before you left, we were sitting out on your porch. I know. What? You were gonna give me your class ring. How did you know that? I just knew. <sighs> I didn't want to hurt you. You mean so much to me. I love you, Sam. You and Lydia both. Now listen. 
on that bookshelf up underneath the basket, there's a letter. Would you get it for me? Come here. I want you to give this to Trooper when you think he's ready. I wrote him a letter about his dad. I always thought he should have a dad he could believe in. He has one now. You've got to come check this out. There she is. We, uh, we figured you couldn't make the picnic, uh, Dee Dee, so uh, we decided to bring the picnic to you. So we turn to the scripture passages just read, and we look to the memory of Didi Michaud's life for consolation in our sorrow and for inspiration in our lives. And now Didi's son, Trooper, has requested a moment. Mom said we were going to move here. I didn't really want to. Because... Because I didn't really know anybody then. She said... She said that this town was special. And she's told me lots of stories about it. But... She said every place we lived was special. So I didn't really believe her. But I like the stories anyways. No. Now... I don't see what she meant. Wherever I go, it reminds me of her. It's like... It's like she's still here. I'm glad we came. I'm glad. Amazing grace, 
How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas great.